Hello guys, welcome to my vlog. This is Yui Marino. And uh, guys, uh, as I mentioned on the part 1 of this video, uh, I'm gonna show you the actual video on how to check whether exhaust bulbs are turning or not. But first, I, I wanna explain to you guys why do exhaust bulbs are designed to be turning. Of course, that's the first uh, thing to, to know. Guys, basically it is designed in order to have a lapping effect during operation between bulb spindle and bulb seat to prevent deposits coming from the combustion process it also keeps the bulb at an even temperature in two-stroke engine guys uh, bulbs are rotated by the winged rotator installed on the bulb stem itself as you can see on the bulb stem guys there there's something like a, a wing there installed uh, and then this is turned by the kinetic energy of our exhaust gases uh, this exhaust gases up after the combustion process it, it passes through these wings and turn the bulb why do we need to know all this it's simply because being an engineer we must know the basic tool in addressing issues like uh, you, you do troubleshooting and that is why makers design this kind of arrangement simply because of that reason that any issue pertaining to exhaust bulbs the the, the issues that pass this way to check its uh, functionality is checking whether it's turning or not and now comes to the main issue guys how do we know whether bulbs are turning or not that i am going to show you guys in the actual so guys let's go that's the rotation indicator guys the term of that is the rotation indicator but actually it serves two purposes uh, one is a rough indication whether your bulb is opening or not and the other one is the one i have mentioned earlier the rotation indicator and if you if you search it in the book guys it's it's termed as the rotation indicator okay as you can see guys uh, the the rotation indicator rod is moving up and down and it is imaginary moving up and down with a spindle because uh, that rod guys is uh, installed just on top of the spring air cylinder piston now the question guys what will you check in relation to the rod movement or have you noticed so far guys any difference in its upward and downward movement actually guys the rod indicator is not staying in a fixed position on its lowest and highest point as it moves up and down to see it clearly guys i'm gonna mark it black and red to justify what i have just said now we can see it clearly guys that the rod indicator is reaching on the red mark which is the highest point and after some times it only reach on the black mark so at this point guys being the engineer checking the bulb rotation i would say that the bulb is turning and here comes the question again guys why did i say that the bulb is turning where i only saw the the movement of up and down so now guys i will show you something let's have a look on one of the spare exhaust bulb uh, where the rotation indicator also is there and uh, we'll open the top assembly and we'll see what's inside It's the excess bulb spring air cylinder assembly guys. On top of it is the rotation indicator tip. So now this tip guys is directly acting on the top of the piston. As you can see from this tip it's going all the way to the top of the piston. On top of the piston there is a sliding surface of the rotation indicator and as you can see guys on the top of the piston there is a protruding part that is about 5 mm difference as you can see yeah the one that i am pointing now is the protruding part the difference of them is about 5 mm and that difference guys is the same when we did the rotation indicator check between black and red mark so guys if we try to recall during the check the black mark indicates that the contact point of the rotation indicator tip is at the lower part of the cylinder top while the red mark indicates that the tip is touching on the protruding part of the spring air cylinder piston top so meaning when you carry out the test and observe no changes on the indication the height of the indicator that confirms that your bulb needs to change so guys uh, i hope today's topic will be beneficial to you in building up your career and i hope watching this would uh, clear up 
your doubts, especially the correct term of this mechanism. As in my experience, uh, I've heard people uh, saying that the, uh, the purpose of this has nothing to do with the rotation of the exhaust valve. So guys, uh, as I, I uh, explained earlier, that once again, the mechanism is designed and named as rotation indicator mainly to ascertain whether exhaust valve is turning or not during operation and the other one is a rough indication whether your valve is closing or not okay guys thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to keep you updated on my uh, upcoming videos see you guys